got this thing set up here and it looks like it should be running. It says live on the top. That's a good sign. Yay. All right. So here goes nothing. I've been working on this idea that my friend Dustin Anderson, if Dustin is out there, thanks for this, uh, kind of threw at us. He, uh, has a friend in a VA or a veterans organization that he's part of that has a daughter who wants to be a creator for Marvel Comics. And she is adorable. She's five years old. And he sent me some pictures of her. I printed out his reference here because I'm going to try and do her up as a comic book character. Um... This is, was her name Haley? I think it's Haley. Oh, you know, see, I've completely forgotten at this point. That's terrible. But this is her. I've got a couple of shots of her here. And she's going to be Spider Girl. And we're going to age her up just a little bit. She's she's five in these pictures, but we're going to make her more like uh, nine or ten, I think is what we're going for. And I've got a couple of little... Uh, reference drawings that I've thrown together of her that we're going to set over here on the side. And hey, oh wow, there's all sorts of people hanging out here all of a sudden. This is crazy many people. Hi everybody. Um, and my daughter is watching. Wow, I didn't even know she did Facebook anymore. Uh, yeah, okay, wow, okay. I would love to hang out and thank everybody for joining me by name, but I can't even scroll back that far anymore. <laughs> All right. So now I can't look at my phone anymore because I'm going to be working on this thing. So hopefully you all will get a chance to see what's happening here. Um, this young lady, she wants to be a Marvel Comics creator. She's five, like I said, and she has autism. And I'm not really sure exactly what the whole story is, but she's got this fantastic Spider-Girl costume that she has been made. Her, her folks made this for her, or got it for her or something. It's, it's pretty darn good looking. So we're going to turn her into a comic book character. And first things first, we're going to give her some bad folks to deal with. I've got a... Uh, a little bit of an idea of a schoolyard bully type of a kid here that we're going to introduce, and he's going to have kind of a bad day. And there's this other kid who's walking to school and kind of minding his own business. He's got his backpack. And you can see I've kind of put together a little bit of a layout of what I want this whole thing to fit into. Because I've done some comic book drawing in the past, but it's been a long time. A really long time. And the last time I did, it, did this, uh, it was for a little spec project that I was working on with Naomi Novik. Uh, it was all digital, and almost nothing that I drew was actually real. But I have this studio now, and why wouldn't I use it? So, I figure I'll actually have some, some real art to give this young lady when she sees it all finished, some, some paper art. Now you'll probably notice, you, if you've ever seen the How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way and stuff, um, my style of putting together figures is a little different from that. Um, I kind of like to give them a little more flesh right off the beginning. Just, just, uh, especially the, the not main characters. Like there's her, she's going to be probably a little more how to draw comics the Marvel way style. But these stand-in characters 
and uh, throw them together just a little quicker and a little um, I don't know, maybe I make them a little rougher. Yeah, there's this bully. He's not a good guy. This little dude who's being shaken down for his stuff. I don't know about all you, but I'm kind of missing getting out in front of people and doing this stuff at conventions and things. There's, there was supposed to be a convention up here pretty soon, NorwestCon, and uh, it being over at this point, <laughs> it's just, it was a little heartbreaking, and at the same time, we're really thankful that they've made that decision, but... Uh, Yeah, we were really looking forward to coming out and seeing all of our friends and drawing some dragons for people and all that kind of stuff. And eh, who knows when that's going to happen again. So this is the best I can do in the meantime. All right. And there's our little punk. All right younger kid here who's gonna have kind of a little spiky hair. And that's, they are standing here. And this is our hero over here. She's getting her mask on, getting ready to go and take care of this situation. And anybody who's coming in here as this develops, just to let you know, I won't be able to respond to any questions or anything because the phone is up above me right now and I absolutely can't see the screen. And if I could see the screen, I couldn't see what I was drawing. So the idea is to be able to draw and have you be able to watch is much more important right now than going through and answering questions. But if you leave questions, um, I think I can go through later and and look at them and then respond to them after the video. Uh, and that's pretty much, I think, the best I can do because it's a trade-off. There's it's It's one or the other. I can either keep getting up and looking at what people are asking and not get anything done <laughs> or uh, keep drawing and have something for you to actually see by the time this is all over. And this is a little bit therapeutic for me right now. This is uh, me trying to stay busy and 
as I was explaining to my family, control the things in my world that I can't con that I can control while there are things going on that are very important that I can't. Um, for those of you who are here and don't realize it, uh, both of my parents right now are in the hospital being treated for this disaster virus. And they're both positive for it. They, they know they have it. So they're being treated accordingly. And there are various phenomenal health workers in there doing their best. Uh, both of them are on ventilators. Both of them are on paralytics. They cannot be s spoken to or speak to us. Because when, once you're on a ventilator, that's, that's it. You're not going to say anything else again for a while. Um, so yeah, there's, they're in Florida, and there is nothing we can do about it from where we are. So I'll draw, because I can do that. Right. Hey, to take a little more concentration. Sorry, I should probably try to keep talking, but there. I haven't actually drawn her face more than maybe three times so far, so I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. I'm sure it'll come a little bit more naturally the more I do it. But meanwhile, I'm just. Also, I'm going off of this reference, which is great, but it's of a five-year-old, and we want to make her older by a little bit, so... I think I hear some of our outdoor cats out there trotting away in our backyard, which is always a nice thing. Hey, I do love this costume they've put together for her. I think it's a uh, Spider Gwen variation, and some of you probably know better than I'm going to. I do love the idea of supporting young people who are going to get into this industry in their life at some point. And so if others have some ideas of people who need this kind of treatment, oh, there's like a little heart on her spider. That's so cute. Okay. So... If anybody else has some ideas of people who would be a good fit for something like this, I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to be able to get to, but uh, dragon drawings have been a little slow these days, <laughs> so I do have some spare time. I think we all have some spare time right now. This is 
interesting. Her gloves are red on one side and they have the spider thing going on on them and then blue on the other. They're light blue. So let's see. over here. And when you're doing these kinds of lines, it's important to make sure that they are round with the direction of the hand. That's really kind of relevant. for the spider web. I was thinking about doing McFarlane style spider webs for these, but I'm like, this isn't Spider-Man, so I don't know what her webs would look like, and I'm like, maybe a little more of a globby kind of an energy like web sort of would be fun. They don't have to spiral around themselves quite as crazily as McFarlane's webs did. His spaghetti noodle webs up a little bit. And like, I should completely, and I'm winging all of this, like, I'm not going in here and measuring perspectives, and I probably should, and I'll do a little bit more of that when I'm getting into inking it all out. Because yeah, I'm actually going to ink this and everything, and then I'll probably do some digital color on it and all of that crazy stuff. Um, <clears throat> but right now I'm just kind of floating perspective out there just to give me an idea of what direction the lines will eventually go. So they may change over time. That's entirely possible. Get rid of that background line because this is going to overlap. There's a lot of overlapping panels and stuff going on here. And, uh, and of course, I will use a straight edge when it comes down to figuring out the actual panel lines and stuff before I'm inking things.
And I kind of had this idea that, like, I really, I don't know a whole lot about this young lady, but I know that people who have autism tend to have a very different way of looking at the things that we see every day, right? So um, I have a friend who's autistic, he's on the spectrum, and he sees things um, much more logically and mathematically than most people I know. Um, he's got the ability to disseminate information and come up with ideas and extrapolations based on it that most people wouldn't think of as quickly as he does because he's so logic-minded. Um, and so one of the things I was thinking was somebody who's got the ability to generate these webs, you know, spiders being very geometrical and stuff, that has that kind of logic brain, um, might handle things with her webs a little differently than like Spider-Man might because you know spiders are very constructive and she might approach things a little less in the I will whack you with webbing effect and a little more with I will build something out of webs to help me take care of the problem. Um, Spider-Man does that of course, you know, he does his his web nets and things, uh, but he tends to be a little more a web ball to the face or a stick you to the wall with a web. And she, I think, is going to be a little more of a make a bridge over a big city street and pull you up into it. And so the construction part of it feels like her different element, as I'm hoping that kind of comes across. I don't know how. I mean, I gotta admit, honestly, it's been, it's been a few years since I've read a Spider-Man comic, and most of my Spider-Man knowledge at this point is MCU stuff, but it, it kind of feels like it's a little different from Peter Parker-style stuff. That's the goal. I don't want it to be quite the same. Now I'm drawing all of this on an 11 by 14 page, but you'll notice I've got these these edges on the page, these borders. That would be the cutoff for where the comic would get trimmed because comics are not 11 by 14 ratio and most people draw them on 11 by 17 page. But well, you know, paper supplies are limited these days and I can't just run out to Michael's and get extra paper, not not safely. So I'm going to use what I've got available, and I've got plenty of this stuff available. And, uh, make it work. I'll just use a thinner pen. I'm trying to get this face a certain way. This is this is a uh, little bit of a person from my past that I thought deserves to be immortalized as the schoolyard bully. Certainly how I remember him.
don't know how much everybody's hearing of the background ambient noise. Sounds like we've got a little uh, drama in the neighborhood here. But we live not far from a couple of major hospitals, so it does not terribly surprise me that there's a little drama in the neighborhood right now. There. And that cuts all the way in. That goes in here like this. Same building. So I thought I'd kind of get that established, their, their location. It's always good to have fairly similar looking spaces of locations. There's a window there. wall that's happening here. The end of that wall is there. There's like a little, I was going to say, this is like a gutter pipe or something coming down right here. So that would be this point. Nope, I don't like where that ends up. It's too close to his face. We're just going to leave it. window thing happening here, so deepen up that window there, and I'm kind of all over the page on this. Sorry, it's, it's a little weird to keep up with, but we're going to have her. All right, this is when we're going to be getting into some of those sort of stick figure things to figure out. She's got to be climbing out on this web. Put up over her mask. This little riff that comes along the side here. Alright. She's got the, the heart with the spider webs on her back.
doesn't look like there's a spider pattern on her hood, but there is on the sleeves. So we're going to drop the spider pattern on the sleeves. And there seems to be a spider pattern on her sides. And there is some kind of a red band around her ankles. It's going to denote all of that for data reference. around here somewhere. Probably should have been prepared for that. <laughs> nah. Prepared? Nah. Ah. That's not it. <laughs> oh no. Much too big. Much too big. That's like a carpenter's straight edge. We're not going to mess with that. Um... lights. Okay. When in doubt, hold a piece of paper. <laughs> I do want to kind of get a little bit of a nice clean idea of some city street stuff so that I got these kids placed in the right spot. I don't want them completely in the wrong area. Or proportions. Proportions are pretty relevant when you're putting together a scene like this. Um, yeah. All right. Mean kid.
think of our young hero coming in to save the day. Mean kid with his mean face. idea of what's going on at this point. And I should probably have the disclaimer of simply, um, I don't claim any ownership over any of these characters or anything. I'm doing this entirely as a exercise in something that I don't consider one of my better skills. Uh, try and work on that because now is a great time to work on skills that you feel could use some polishing. Particularly if, like me, you really don't have any other commissions or anything going on. All my commercial stuff is pretty well dried up at this point. So, this is giving me a little bit of a chance to stretch my legs and try some new things. I don't do a lot of sequential art, and I kind of love sequential art, so, like, getting a chance to get in here and play around a little bit with this stuff. When Dustin asked me to do this, I was like, um, yeah, kind of heck yes, of course I will totally do this, because it's not a skill I'm happy with my ability in, but I think I could get better at it. away. Uh, hopefully that's just a regular old haze kind of notification and not a Florida news notification. Alright, 
so now, what's our guy look like here? He's kind of area that I've put together is really messy. <laughs> I'll try and fix this up a little bit. probably gone too far down on this piece. This probably should have started higher. And once I get this in the computer, I may actually take this whole piece and squish it up like half an inch so that I can show a little bit more of the spiky haired kid down here and his pose because I've lost his backpack and his shoulders and everything completely down there. And that was not the intent. So I think yeah, the, my plan has suddenly become that's going to change uh, angle or location a little bit because I don't think that's serving that panel very well. But I like what's sort of there already. I just don't like where it ends. But what's great is, you know, you get, to, you get on the computer and you... Fix it all up. That's the building that she was on. And I want to make sure that there's some denotation of the street that she's crossing. And this is... Okay, that's part of the sidewalk. This is the outside of the sidewalk, so this is going to be the street here. We'll put a little, couple of little details to kind of show where the street's happening. Let's try and keep perspective in mind there, Rob. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go in and actually do some perspective lines and stuff before I do inking. That part's kind of boring. Well, to, I think... The general audience, that's pretty boring. I don't know. I, I love seeing that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm not going to take up a whole bunch of your time with that because, you know, you want to see people getting drawn. Right? Don't you? All right. So that, I think, is approximately page one. And it's really just the intro page. And if weather holds and I can 
get back out in the studio tomorrow, I will do the big splash page. And of course the big splash page is her grabbing him probably by the back of his hoodie there and pulling him away from the guy he's about to take a swing at. Um, so yeah, let's, let's say that's going to be it for now. I think I may add a little something in here, but it might actually be for some of their text bubbles and things and the stuff that's being said and yeah, I have to always remember to leave room for words. That's one of those comic book insistences that I occasionally forget because I get really caught up in the, the picturing. But uh, all right, yeah, I think we're we're gonna call that happy for now. Uh, I'm gonna get in and do a little bit of a check on how everybody is doing in Florida. And with that, hey, thank you very much for hanging out with me and watching me get this page started. Um, once all of this is done, I'm going to try and import it over to my YouTube channel, which just search for Rob Carlos on YouTube and you should be able to find that. And then like and subscribe on that because I need more subscribers so that I can actually make it the Rob Carlos channel on YouTube and not this like really long pile of letters that is awkward and clunky. Um, you guys are the best. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope everybody is staying safe and staying healthy, okay? And if not, please let us know. All right, take care. And I will do it again soon. I will do it again tomorrow, if at all possible, just so you know. All right, bye now.